Okay, so the first node I want to go over with you is the mesh list node. This node is kind of the foundation of the other nodes in this package. They all build off of it. Um, what the mesh list node does is it allows you to create a list of mesh inputs and then select which mesh input you want to use. Um, and in this way, it kind of acts like a selector as well. So we can go at a cube, see it down here in our scene view, and a cylinder jammed up on top of it right now. And we'll connect them both into meshless node. And now we're only seeing the cube because it's the uh, first entry in the list, and we're using our zero is our control ID. We change that to a one, we see the cylinder. So in this way a mesh list acts like a selector, but uh, it's really more of an organizational tool because it can feed into other tools that uh, take a mesh list, like the selector tool. Now the selector tool is useful because you can put several of them out there and use the same mesh list as the outputs, if my mouse would cooperate. So now we can see we have two of them out there. Change the control ID of this one right here. <coughs> and now, there we go, both of them are there. So as you can see, the mesh list acts like an organizational tool allowing us to feed other nodes into it. Now. The uh, mesh repeater and the uh, mesh list selector also take inputs from the mesh list as well. So we'll go over those here as well. The uh, mesh list selector, this node um, is kind of like the mesh list, but for mesh lists. You can feed multiple mesh lists into it. And um, let's find something interesting. There we go. We get an arch. So down here we have our mesh list going on. We're checking this guy out right here. Now notice we're not seeing the other mesh list. It's fed into the mesh list selector. Um, and so now it's just totally cut off. The mesh list selector does not act like a mesh selector as well. Um, when you hook a mesh list into it, it's assuming you intend to use it strictly organizationally. So now we have our other mesh list down here and we're going to connect this one in. There we go. So we'll set our default list. Now from here, from the mesh list selector, we actually are going to have to connect into a mesh selector again. All right, so we're using our first mesh list, zero indexed, and we want the first, uh, the second element in it, which is our cylinder. So if we go zero, we see our box. Now we see our cylinder. So now let's go to our second list up here. Oh, we see our arch because we're on our first one. And if we hit go to zero, we'll see our sphere. So now what a mesh list selector does, obviously, is it allows you to filter between multiple mesh lists. Uh, where this comes in handy is uh, things like structures and buildings where you want to create upgrades. So each list can represent a different upgrade level. And then you can select which upgrade level the building or structure is currently using to change its look um, really quickly and dynamically. You can build all this into the graph itself, so all you have is a single asset to drop in, and then just change the control parameters on the fly through the runtime and make everything look totally different. 